We're back at it again. We'll be checking out the SK Hynix PC611. Uh, this is a one terabyte OEM drive. You can find this on eBay for about 80 bucks or less or maybe slightly more. And we're gonna see if this would be a good unraid cache drive. Obviously, if you had more than one of these in like a RAID 10 or RAID 0, you would definitely get some banger results with that. Uh, but we'll, we're gonna test this one and see what happens. I've taken the Dell R330 that is like my go-to test box off of the for sale um, shelf. By the way, you can buy this server on spxlabs.com forward slash shop as well as other NVMe drives and other goodies on there, so be sure to check that out. But I took this off the for sale um, shelf and now we're going to be uh, using it again. And that means basically reinstalling all of the hardware that used to exist in here. So we gotta get our NVMe adapter plugged in. We gotta get our X540T2 NIC added back and all that jazz. So y'all don't need to see that. I'm gonna get this thing hooked up and then we will do the tests and see what we get. Oh, and did I say this is all happening over 10 gig, Nick? 10 gig networking? I think I did, I don't remember. Anyway, we're gonna do it all over 10 gig networking. All right, everything's booted up and working as expected. Here on the left, we have a Fallout 4 zip file that's approximately 87 gigabytes in file size. And this is on a Samsung 960 Pro. And we will, of course, be transferring that over to our server where the um, SK Hynix NVMe drive is sitting. Wow, I can't remember the name of that thing. RC PC 611, whatever, it doesn't matter. And um, yeah, it's gonna take about a minute and 45 seconds here and this is the transfer speed. That's not that good, it's not bad, uh, it's not exceptional, but I'd say that you know if you were doing this again like in a RAID 10 with maybe four of these or RAID 0 with two of these, uh, this would be pretty awesome. And if you could pick them up for, like, for about $80, um, off of eBay used of course I think that would be a pretty good deal especially as we come into the holiday months and people are starting to look to upgrade their stuff all right baller looks like we're gonna end at about 740 to 800 megabits per second not bad let's go ahead and delete our file here so we're gonna copy now from PNAS uh, this is the server that I have set up with the NVMe drive so from the cache to the Samsung 860 Pro And we are getting a beautiful one gigabyte per second. Well, initially anyway. That ended pretty well, I would say, riding back to our Samsung 960 Pro. And the speeds there are good. Now I'm gonna flash on the screen for you guys the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark scores. Um, so I did these at uh, different sizes and you know ran them with a timer interval of five. Uh, pretty impressive, I would say. You could definitely do a little bit better, uh, specifically maybe with the SK Hynix P31 Golds. Those are about $120 brand new, so if you felt more comfortable having a brand new NVMe drive, that would probably last a pretty long time. You could definitely look at those. Um, they'll probably go on sale here soon for Black Friday, so that's something to keep in mind. And I don't know, I think it's really up to you which way you wanna go. The OEM drive I think is pretty good, especially if you can get it around $80 off of eBay or whatever contending website that offers used equipment, and you'd be good to go there. So I'm not really sure what else needs to be said for this video or needs to be shown for this video. So we're just gonna it here and I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.